Hips, get the hips involved. Everything in line. Good. Everything in line. Everything in line. There you go. There you go. Homecoming today in Iowa City on a day that feels more like late September. The Hawkeyes are here as well, arriving at Kinnick Stadium on the Hawkeye team bus, talking this week about getting right here in the homecoming game and that defense that has performed admirably all season long. Perhaps a chance against a Northwestern Wildcat defense that has uh, struggled as of late for the offense to get well to a certain degree. But there's no question, we've seen Northwestern so much over the year uh, outnumber Iowa at the line of scrimmage. They blitz those linebackers, both run and pass. Uh, Spencer's got to make some plays down the field. Uh, just get down to this, all right? Let's make sure we're the team that plays the hardest, all right, the most physical, all right, and plays the most together, most determined for 60 minutes. That's all it gets down to. Play hard, physical, all right, be determined out there, play your ass off of the team. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And I would guess Spencer's smiling, too. He, wa he wants to get out there and get going, no doubt challenging the offensive line like the coaches have. The Heartland is brought to you by University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives. U.S. Cellular, the official wireless partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Even balanced line with two tights again for the Hawkeyes. Here's Petrus. Gives it to uh, Caleb Johnson, and he's loose. He's at the second level. Angles toward the near sideline. First down across midfield. Still going. They can't get him on the ground. Four white shirts had a shot at him. And the future of that running back position, really impressive. First and 10 at the 48 of Northwestern. Two plays are in Wildcat territory. On a play fake, Petrus will roll out right. Has a man wide open. Guess who? Sam Laporta down the sideline for the first down and a gain of 14. The Hawks are on the move at the 33 of Northwestern. Here's Johnson. Big hole over left guard and tackle. And Caleb squirms his way down inside the 25. Drew Stevens is on and will kick out of the hold of Torrey Taylor. Luke Elkins snaps it back. And the kick is up and right through. It's like a point after try. Good start for the Hawkeyes. They'd rather have six, but they'll take three. Quinn receivers either way, all the tailback. Here's Brendan Sullivan, he's not afraid to run. The Hawks send a late blitzer, and down he goes! Way back at the 25. Inside four minutes to play first quarter. Petrus on a play fake. Now runs off to the left side, then throws it. Has Potabon for the first down. He's down the far sideline. First down at the 20. Let's hope he wasn't ahead of the line of scrimmage when he threw it. I don't see a flag. No, no you don't see this much from Spencer, where he's throwing the ball on the run. But that is a heck of a heads-up play. It really is, because he knew he wasn't going to get the first down. Quickly, Petrus has the lines down. He's in the gun. LaShawn Williams back there with him. A lot of time. Throws it over the middle to LaShawn. He's got the first down inside the 10. Again, the offensive line with that clean pocket gave Petrus the time he needs. One minute to go first quarter. The Hawks have moved the ball. Let's see if they can get more points here in the form of a touchdown. Caleb Johnson took a look inside. Gets outside. Reaches for the goal line. And is he over? Touchdown, Iowa! After review, the runner was down with the ball a half yard short of the goal line. It will be third and goal. Colby and Bo Stevens are 
saying collectively, run behind me. Yeah, road grader. Out of a power eye, here comes Petrus. He's over the goal line. Oh, no, they're not going to give it to him. What's Nobody's the delay here? It. His body's oh, in there the it is. <laughs> Well, I guess we can see better from up here. These guys do go to the uh, optometrist once a year, don't they? <laughs> touchdown, Iowa. And he yeah, is touchdown, Iowa. <laughs> i got to say it four times. No, you got it. <laughs> and he is six foot five. So. <laughs> uh. As Northwestern gets set to snap the football, the quarterback, Brendan Sullivan, hulls the tailback. He gets the handoff. Nowhere to run. And he loses three or four yards. Lucas Van Ness charged across the line of scrimmage. Here's Sullivan to throw on second and long. Now he's grabbed from behind. Down he goes. A great rush upfield by Ethan Herkett. Double tight. That way, here's Petrus, good pocket, throws to the underneath man. That's Regani on a comebacker. First down, midfield and out of bounds in Northwestern territory at the 47. We haven't seen a ton of first downs in any game uh, this year. That's number nine for the first half. Here's straight ahead running and now breaking to the near sideline. And on the loose, Caleb Johnson rolled out of bounds at the Northwestern 30. That's a gain of 12. Short gun for Petrus. Looks right, now comes back to the middle. Laporta escapes a tackler. Gets the first down, or very close at the 20-yard line. So it's a 24-yard kick and right through. Boy, how big has Drew Stevens been, this freshman from South Carolina? Big time. Wildcats have three wideouts, a tailback, and a tight end in the formation. Here's uh, Sullivan drilled as he cocks the throw. And roaring in there to knock him down is Logan Lee. One of Iowa's best Time defensive out. linemen. Petrus shifts to the gun. Three wideouts for the Hawks, including tight end Laporta. Petrus going to throw down the field, and it is incomplete. No, it's caught. Uh, yeah. Caught. Here's a draw handoff to LaShawn Williams. Great sidestep move. Gets the first down inside the 25. Spencer to throw. He's going to the sideline. Has a man. Laporta. On a square out, right in front of the cornerback, Cam Mitchell. Ten yards and another first down. Boy, this is a throw. Petrus, time throw, scores. Oh, Touchdown, Luke Lachey. And the youngster from Columbus gathers in a bullet of a throw from Petrus. I mean, Spencer, what was it? What was it? He threw it wide. It a That's a touchdown, <laughs> Iowa, I think, is what that is. And a passing touchdown yeah. as Petrus rifles it seven yards for the score. <laughs> and Sullivan to throw. Across the middle, incomplete, intercepted. Intercepted in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Raymond Nero and Kayvon Merriweather. Great focus. We'll enjoy the 20-minute halftime, and we certainly are enjoying the 20 to nothing. I have a lead here at the break. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. When corn grows Iowa, Iowans win. hy V, the official grocery partner of Iowa Hawkeyes football. And back deep for the Wildcats, Donnie Navarro. Tory, oh, oh my, a shank by Tory Taylor. Oh boy, now Sullivan rolls out, looking deep, throws over the middle, has a receiver open, big tight end, falls in the backfield with Sullivan. And Sullivan rolls to his right, throws, caught, touchdown by Duke Olgus, big old 98. They fake the give to Hall. Petrus to throw again. Lobs it out to Deontay Vines at the 30. He backs into a first down at the 36. Laporta, the tight end, wings left. Regani goes in motion. On second and five, Caleb Johnson. They run by a blitz. He's at the second level into Northwestern territory and down at the 45-yard line. They sent a blitz, and Caleb ran right by him. Hawks have three wides to the left. Wide side. Here's Henny. Back to the short side comes... Petrus, uh, why not go to your pacifier, Sam Laporta? This would be a career best. 
His uh, career long is 51. Well, this is big. Here's the snap. Here's the boot. It's on the way, and it is good. Oh, Just no. crawled over the crossbar. How about that? Drew Stevens knew what he was doing all along. My goodness, that is so big, 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 big. As you used to call it, Bigfoot. <laughs> a minute to go, third quarter, 23 to 7. Hawkeyes, here's a draw, a fumble, a fumble, and I think Northwestern's on it. Deontay Craig ran right by the football. Potabom wings to the right. In motion is Arlen Bruce. Here comes LaShawn Williams. Straight ahead running, cuts it to the right, makes a couple guys miss, has the first down out near midfield. What a run, what blocking by the Hawkeyes. If the Hawks can uh, harvest seven yards here on third down. Throw to the underneath man, Regani turns up field, has the first down, still going, makes a great cutback move, and gets all the way down to the Northwestern 28. Heavy package for the Hawks, multiple tight ends. Petrus rolls back to his right, looks down toward the goal line, has a man, great protection, it's Regani again. Stevens' kick will come from the 15, it's a 25-yard field goal. And the ball is right through, like an extra point. Hawks extend the lead to 26 to 7. So the clock continues to run. The Wildcats keep the ball. Here's Benson coming on a blitz and gets to the quarterback. Sullivan down he goes. Seth Benson, the unsung hero of that Iowa linebacking core. Here are the Hawkeyes first and 10. Look at Caleb Johnson running through not one but two tackles. Still going. And the pile still being pushed all the way to the Northwestern 27 yard line. That's close to a first down. Deontay Vines checks out wide right. Potabombs out there in the offset eye. They run Arlen Bruce on a jet sweep. He may get to the end zone. 15, 10, 5, goal line, touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown! Touchdown, Arlen Bruce. You can see that from the get go. Northwestern totally unprepared for that jet sweep. Yeah, they were sure we were running inside. And who? Monty Potabomb leading him into the end zone. 23 yards and the touchdown for Arlen Bruce. Well, it's good to see him get his second touchdown of the year. That guy never stops running. No. He's always in motion. Final score, Iowa 33, Northwestern 13. Dear Hawkeye supporters, a million thank yous would not add up to how truly grateful and blessed I am to be a student athlete here at the University of Iowa. In my time here, I have met the most kind-hearted and supportive people and have created friendships and memories that will last forever. 
I always dreamed of wearing the black and gold, and I still cannot believe I actually get to put on that Iowa jersey and represent this school and the state. Seeing my name in the locker room and hearing it announced on game day still feels like a dream. After two years as a walk-on, I got the call from my head coach that I was being offered a full scholarship. That is a moment that my family and I will remember forever. It is thanks to you, our Hawkeye supporters, that this Davenport, Iowa kids' dreams came true. I love the University of Iowa and have become a better student, person, daughter, sister, friend, teammate, and athlete here. I cannot express how proud I am to wear the black and gold every single day, and I will wear it proudly forever. From the bottom of my heart, thank you and go Hawks. State the obvious, it's the best we've had uh, as far as all three phases playing well together, getting good production, and uh, probably the biggest step forward was on offense. So that was really good to see, but best we've played together uh, this season so far. Uh, defense gave another good effort out there, and special teams, uh, for the most part, were pretty good. So that helps. And I think really the only low point uh, that came in the game was in the initial part of the second half. Uh, you know, we really didn't. Uh, do a great job getting a stop when they had their first possession. Then we were three and out, I believe, and had the bad punt and then couldn't put the fire out. So that was kind of a low light there. And uh, moving forward, uh, and starting with this week, you know, you got to be in the, in the game 60 minutes and ready to go mentally that way. So that's kind of where that's at. But moving on to Purdue, you know, first of all, just great respect for uh, Coach Brom, his program, his players. Uh, they've done a wonderful job since he's gotten there. And, um, you know, not just. Uh, a matter of them being good offensively, which they are, uh, but I think they've upgraded their program in all three areas. Obviously, they play really well uh, defensively on special teams and um, you know on uh, offense as well. That uh, similar scheme to last year, very similar, um, even with the new DC. Uh, they're a talented team that, that plays hard. Uh, seems like they're they're pretty bought into their scheme and. Um, you know, it's that's uh, it's a mark of a good team. They, they play they play hard, play physical. So, you know, it's gonna be a real challenge on Saturday. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it starts at the top with Coach Ferentz. The way he talks to us, he knows that we're not gonna give up. And the way all of us carry ourselves in the weight room and the locker room, out there on the practice field, we all believe in ourselves and know that we have I don't know what is it five games left, uh, but we're taking it one game at a time and gonna give it our all every single game. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward. To it. I think I'm looking forward to any matchup. You know, it's just another game uh, on our schedule. Is uh, every game is important. You know, this is just another one on the on the way uh, on our on our schedule on the way down the road. So, you know, I think you know just going into this game with with the utmost importance, like I do any other game, is is going you know put in a position to be successful. This has been a presentation from Learfield.